Shalom. This week's Sedra is Sedra's bow. One of the most important principles a person must understand in this world is cause and effect. Confusing the cause and effect of matters can lead a person to misunderstand the universe and events both in the past and the present. There are many secondary causes to events around us and confusing the secondary and primary causes of events leads a person to, to relate to events incorrectly and when action is required to act in the wrong ways in relation to those events. Instead of taking, let's say, corrective action or preemptive measures to protect themselves, they further the problem. This week's Torah portion includes a lesson in the importance of cause and effect. In this week's Torah portion, Moshe threatens Paro. He says the following to him, If you refuse to let my people go, tomorrow I will bring locusts on your territory. They shall fill your palaces and the houses of all your advisors and all of the Egyptians, something that neither your father or your father's fathers have seen from the day they appeared on earth to this day. With that, he turned and left Paro's presence. Paro's advisors, you can imagine the scene, said to him, How long shall this be a snare to us? Let a delegation go worship their god. Are you not aware that, Egyptian is, that Egypt is lost? An amazing, amazing scenario. In his commentary to the Paro's advisors' question of how long shall this be a snare to us, the Ibn Ezra offered two explanations as to what they, they thought was their snare. The first explanation was that it was the plagues that were the snare. The other explanation was that it was actually Moshe himself who was the snare. Unfortunately for Paro and his advisors, neither of these answers were correct. Ultimately, it was God who was the snare. Moshe and the plagues were secondary causes. The entire point of the grandiose exodus from Egypt all the plagues was to demonstrate God's active role in the world. In his drashot, Ran wrote critically of people who confuse cause and effect. The Ran wrote the following, he said, we lean upon those who cause us immediate issues and all their pre preoccupations are with the close causes and those have little power to save us. It is in this regard that God indicted the Jews for soliciting the, king, the kings of Egypt later on in their history. Similarly, those who fear foul air and make the tire goal the improvement of its quality, but he who has eyes have opened by the Lord leans upon God by improving his deeds and regrets his past evils. They recognize that ultimately God is the cause of the issues, not foul air and not the kings of the world. The exodus from Egypt wasn't just a practical way of emancipating Jews from slavery. The exodus was designed to show the Jewish people and the nations of the world that God can play an active role in world events. This message was particularly important for the primitive Egyptians to understand. These pagans thought that the sun and their pyro were the primary cause of events. By demonstrating that events were out of both the, their hands, God taught the Egyptians that it was God that was the primary cause of all events in the world. A lesson to be taken home this week. Shabbat Shalom.